There will be an added attraction when you go to Fenway Park this year, or is it an added distraction? What's new atop the green monster? With groundskeeper Joe Mooney at his side, the hometown mayor could only stand and stare. Tom Menino came to tour Fenway Park to see if the city streets were ready for Friday's opening day. But it was the Coke bottles everyone was talking about. This is what Menino said outside the park. You know, they take a little bit away from the Green Monster. The Green Monster makes this park unique like no other ballpark in the, in the country. The Red Sox are quick to point out the Coke bottles are not on the Green Monster, but rather above it, like other advertisements. Many people don't realize that the Green Monster was originally just a signage opportunity. It was erected just for that purpose and that purpose alone. And uh, in 1947, it was painted green. And actually, this is the 50th anniversary of it being green. The Coke bottles are tied in directly with the Jimmy Fund and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Coca-Cola promises to make a $100,000 donation to the Jimmy Fund each year. What they're going to do is donate $1,000 every time a home run actually hits a Coke bottle or $500 every time a home run is hit over the Green Monster. Coke executives who are paying a premium for the spot thought long and hard before deciding on the final design using the old-fashioned Coke bottle. There are no lights, no bells and whistles. At no point did uh, we or the Red Sox want to do anything that we felt would be in bad taste. It's well above the Green Monster. We think it's, uh, it's a traditional Coke bottle, so it's a good fit for a classic ballpark like Fenway. Although this photography student out shooting landmarks was not impressed. The Green Monster especially, they shouldn't, you know, kind of take away the aura of it by putting Coke bottles up there. We're used to seeing the Green Monster, and that's all we see, and uh, now you have Coke bottles out there. So we'll deal with those things. The mayor says we'll all get used to it. Well, we'll have to. Change is inevitable. That's what like they it. tell me. You like it, though? Hey, listen, my wife loves Coca-Cola. What can I say? <laughs>